When we think about the Enlist system, we want to maximize the tolerances that we've got in Enlist E3 soybeans as well as Enlist cotton. So when I think about program approaches, Weed Science 101 tells me program approaches are where we start from the ground up. We don't want to change that mindset. We want to utilize those particular residual herbicides as well as the ability we've got to utilize other tolerances that you'll find in E3 soybeans as well as Enlist cotton, being that of 240 choline in the Enlist products, glufosinate in the Liberty compound and as well as glyphosate. Now what does this do and what makes it unique in the Enlist system is the fact that we can utilize products like Liberty herbicide as well as glyphosate, those products that can't be used in a dicamba system because of some acidification. What this allows us to do, it doesn't break that inherent low volatility piece that we have with Enlist products in 240 choline. So you can actually apply two effective modes of action for some of those tough to control weeds like Maristel, Kochia, Palmer Amaranth, and also uh, water hemp species. But being a good steward of those products is key and utilizing more multiple modes of action is also very beneficial from a weed resistance management standpoint. So when making applications of Enlist One and Liberty, we recommend a quart and a quart. And we also want an addition of ammonium sulfate. And this needs to be an approved AMS product. That can be one and a half to three pounds of a dry liquid or an AMS containing product that can be found at EnlistTankMix.com. We also want this applied with 20 gallons per acre, a minimum of 15, but we know coverage is critical for Liberty applications, and therefore we, we recommend 20 gallons. We also need this applied with an approved nozzle at an appropriate pressure. Specifically, we recommend an AIXR tip. We want this applied when weeds are three inches or less in height. For more information, talk to your BSF or Corteva representative.